All right, I'm going to attempt to do an instructional video on how you can download movies and TV shows on the Terrarium app to your external SD card. I know a lot of you have large external SD cards and you're frustrated because when you download on the Terrarium app, it only goes to the internal storage, which can be very sparse depending upon your phone. And also depending upon your phone, some of these instructions may be a little different unless I'm inside specific apps. Um, I know that Samsung builds their the look of their apps a little differently. I am on a Blue uh, Life One X 2016 version. It's a cheap $99 phone I got on Amazon, so please bear with me. Okay, so in order to be able to do this on Terrarium app, you have to first go to the Google Play Store and download an app called Advanced Download Manager. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to go to my app drawer. And it you see at the top, it has those downward arrows. You have red, green arrow, and blue arrow. It's ADM. It's called ADM, so I'm going to click on that. So after you download, you're going to have to go into the settings of ADM. You see that settings button at the bottom? You can go in here. Or we're, we're, you see the settings at the top? It says downloading. We need to go there, but you can also access this as well on the side panel. I want to show you that. You see those downloading? You go here, download. I believe the default there for number of downloads is two. You can increase that to three. I don't know why they only have the limit of three on there, but oh well. Um, number of threads, uh, I believe the default is five. You can turn that all the way up to nine. Um, speed of download, if it's not on max, put that on max. Um, folder for files. Uh, you see how it says primary download? That's going to be your internal storage folder so what we want to do is you can actually click directly on that it's gonna ask for access to the SD card you need to click on that directly so we're currently in a download folder we want to go to our external SD card so click on those three bars at the top left see your SD card there you see I got 101 gigabytes free and the internal storage has 3.71 gigabytes free I mean Seriously, you know where we should be downloading stuff. It's just frustrating that you can't normally. So if you click on the SD card, and I don't know where you all would normally save your movie and TV downloads, but to me, the movies folder seems about right. If you don't have one, you can create one. And as you can see, I have a few files in there I've already downloaded on there. So depending on the folder you have at the bottom, Mine says select movies because I selected the movies folder. If you have other folder, it'll say that in, in parentheses. Sorry, quotes, not parentheses. So you click that. And now on, you see on, over there on the left, it says folder for files. It now has a little um, number, letter, combination code, and movies. Uh, the new versions of Android, for some reason, they are coding the external SD cards this way for some reason. Um, also, um, I would for good measure do smart download and auto resume just in case the continuity of the downloads gets broken. So you can close that app now. And we also have to do some settings in Terraria app. Terraria map. Um, Let's go in Terrarium TV app and go to the three bars at the top left. And we're going to go to settings. Scroll down. See under the light blue download heading, uh, it says choose default download manager. So we're going to go to that. It's defaulting to Android internal download manager. Unfortunately, with that, you can't choose where you want your downloads to go if it's to an SD card. So you have to choose external download manager. So we're going to select that. And let's back up out of that. And for 
instructional purposes, we're going to try a small file. So we're going to TV shows. Um, eh, let's go to Mr. Robot. And let's go to season one, well, episode one. Let's select that. And as a general rule, I want to, um, if you've been using Terrarium for a while, you probably know what to do on here. Um, I'll just tell you what I normally do. And, you know, you can take that with a grain of salt. Um, the the list of these is usually the highest resolution at the top. And with that in mind, I usually try to take the highest, which is 1080p. If there's not 1080p, I would choose 720p. And there are certain sources that are able to encode it at smaller sizes and such. But for the most part, they are MP4 files, which are more universal. The MKV files that you'll find um, are not as universal. They may not play on your default video player, which is why Terrarium asks you to install MX player. So if you don't have MX player installed, please do that from the Google Play Store. So with that being said, I'm going to select uh, the uppermost file. And as an instruction, I want to show you all, sometimes these files may not be what you think they are. So it's a good measure to test them. Um, once you get in a groove and you know that particular server, um, you know, it says Dizzy Mag, uh, Google Video, 1080p. Once you know they have the right file, you don't have to really check it. But I like to check it with Play Without Subtitles. And as you know, you just back out of the, uh, the um, ad so you can actually see the video. If it plays for us, USA Network. You just want to make sure it's the show or movie that you selected. That's all. Sometimes I'll move the video a little bit further along the the line there just to see. But even if it says Mr. Robot, sometimes it'll be another video. I've had this happen to me many times. So you can see that's the character in Mr. Robot. So let's go back. Select the back button back again to get out of that ad and you want to choose the same one that you tested out that's very important so we do that select download and back out of that ad so now you'll see choose an external download manager um, this is where we will choose the app we downloaded from the Google Play Store and it is called ADM editor in this particular pop-up now, unfortunately, you will have to do this for every single download you click on. I talked with the developer of Terrarium TV app, and he said he is working on a fix. Um, I wouldn't expect it soon, though, because it's new information. I'm sure he has other fixes in the pipeline, so don't keep your fingers crossed for that. So we will select ADM Editor. Click on that, and this pop-up will come up. It just shows you the, the link to the file and the actual file itself. Um, we're going to select start. And if you look at the top of your notifications, you want to drag that down a little bit. Um, ignore my recording controls. That's an a easy screen recorder. That's what I'm using to record this video. But what you want to look at is we have the ADM Q. There's one in the queue. You see that in the middle. And you have the green icon with the, the letters and numbers with the scrolling creating a file. It's creating a file for the program to download. It's not downloading it yet. So if you could patiently wait on it. I take a little time. Some files are gigs. Some files are three gigs or over actually. So let's wait for a minute. It's creating that file. Either you can wait on this lock screen or you can actually click on there. 
and it'll go to the ADM app so you can see where it's creating the file. Now this, as I said before, this phone is, um, it's a cheaper phone and it's, it only has two gigs of RAM. So this is a little slower than more of your higher flagship smartphones out nowadays. So things will go a lot quicker for you. But unfortunately, this is the only phone where I have an external uh, micro SD card slot. Um, so I have to use it make this instructional tutorial this way it's better to to do it this way because I could show you on another phone that only has internal memory and like it's it's never the best I like instructing things how they they should be what you're gonna see so as you can see you see that um, the play button on there and it's the green play button but you can see these numbers are moving this is showing that the file is downloading and I want you all to keep in mind, if you haven't experienced or know uh, if you've used Terrarium before, that just because your phone is very fast and you're connected to uh, either a very fast LTE network or Wi-Fi, um, your speed is dependent upon the server and how many pings that server has. So if there are like hundreds, uh, maybe thousands of people hitting that one server, you are going to have very slow downloads so be very patient with that so um, I believe this app also creates a dummy file and where you selected the download location on your external SD card so we're gonna go there while this is downloading just to check it I'm gonna use my default file explorer which is ES file explorer explorer pro now the free version will be blue, just so you know. All right, let's go back. Let's go to, well, let's go to home. Very slow, as I said before. Let's see if we can get out of that. Hope I don't make it crash, because this phone has been known to do that very small amounts of RAM alright let's go to the movies folder you see that little white icon file at the top that is the file that we currently selected to download so as you can see it's going in the SD card that we chose and those are the other files that you saw before on the, the other screen that were already in that folder so that is basically it. Um, I guess I'll try to answer any questions any of you have, if you have any. Um, feel free to ask. All right, thanks a lot.